An asura Sanskrit Pali, asura asoro in Buddhism is a demigod or titan of the Kamadhatu. They are described as having three heads with three faces each and either four or six arms. <inaudible> Origins and etymology The Buddhist asuras are broadly derived, in general character, from the wicked asuras of Hinduism, but have acquired some very distinctive myths which are only found in Buddhist texts. In its Buddhist context, the word is sometimes translated titan, demigod, or antigod. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Character. While all the gods of the Kamadhatu are subject to passions to some degree, the asuras above all are addicted to them, especially wrath, pride, envy, insincerity, falseness, boasting, and bellicosity. Because of their passions, rebirth as an asura is considered to be one of the four unhappy births together with rebirth as an animal, a preta, or a being in naraka. The state of an asura reflects the mental state of a human being obsessed with ego, force and violence, always looking for an excuse to get into a fight, angry with everyone and unable to maintain calm or solve problems peacefully. Beings may go to the asura realm because in human form they had good intentions, but committed bad actions such as harming others. Concerning Asuras, the great calm observation by Zhi Yi says, Always desiring to be superior to others, having no patience for inferiors and belittling strangers, like a hawk, flying high above and looking down on others, and yet outwardly displaying justice, worship, wisdom, and faith. This is raising up the lowest order of good and walking the way of the Asuras. The Asuras are said to experience a much more pleasurable life than humans, but they are plagued by envy for the Devas, whom they can see just as animals perceive humans. The Asuras of some inferior realms however, are malevolent such as the corrupter Mara and can be referred to as demons. They are alternatively called Rikshasas. In terms of power, Asuras rank above humans but below most of the other deities. They live in the area at the foot of Mount Sumeru, at least partially in the sea that surrounds it. On the popular cosmic picture of the Bhavakakra, the Asuras are sometimes shown as a sixth stage of existence, and sometimes grouped together with the Devas. The five-stage version was the original, and the addition of the Asuras as the sixth was done in Tibet on the authority of Jisangkapa. The leaders of the Asuras are called Asurendra Pali, Asurinda, Asura Lord. There are several of these, as the Asuras are broken into different tribes or factions. Among them are the bow wielding Danavegasa Asuras, and the terrible faced Kalakanhakas. The principal leaders are Vemasitran Pali, Vepasiti, Rahu, also called Viroka or Virokana, and Paharada. Topic: <laughs> Myths. The Asuras formerly lived in the Trayastrimsa world on the peak of Sumeru with the other gods of that world. When Sakra became the ruler of that world, the Asuras celebrated by drinking a lot of Gandapana wine, a liquor so strong that Sakra forbade the other gods to drink it. Weakened by their drunkenness, the Asuras could not resist when Sakra had the whole lot of them thrown over the edge of Trayastrimsa into what would become the Asura world at the base of Sumeru. A tree grows there called Chitapatali. When the Asuras saw it blossom, they saw that it was different from the Parichataka Sanskrit, Pariyatra tree which had grown in their old home, and they knew that they were dispossessed. They now meditated on war. In armor and weapons, they climbed up the steep slopes of Sumeru. Like ants, Sakra set out to meet them, but was forced to retreat because of their numbers. Passing through the forest where the Garudas live on his flying chariot, Sakra saw that his passage was destroying the nests of the Garudas and ordered his charioteer Matali to turn back. When the pursuing Asuras saw Sakra turn about, they felt certain that he must be coming back with an even larger army, and they fled, ceding all the ground they had gained. Despite their many wars, there was eventually a partial concord between the Trayastrimsa gods and the Asuras. This came about because Sakra fell in love with Suja, daughter of the Asura chief Vemasitran. Vemasitran had given Suja the right to choose her own husband at an assembly of the Asuras, and she chose Sakra, who had attended disguised as an aged Asura. Vemasitran thus became Sakra's father-in-law. See also Buddhist cosmology Hecate Hecatonkaris Topic References <references>